there. In the following video, I will show you how to answer question 3 of the January 2011 OCR Call 4 paper, another question on calculus of trigonometric functions. Let's take a look. It says, show the derivative of sec x can be written as sec x tan x. Okay, a uh, simple one this, you should know how to do these. You're trying to differentiate sec x, so you're working out d by dx of sec x. Uh, well, what is sec x? Sec is 1 over cos x, so really what you're doing is trying to differentiate 1 over cos x, which I could write as cos x uh, to the power of minus 1. So we differentiate that, we bring down the power, so it would be minus 1. Uh, we reduce the power of the cos x by one more, so it would be cos x to the minus 2. And we multiply by the differential of the brackets, and the differential of cos x is minus sine x. Okay, that minus 1 times that minus sine x would give me a sine x on the top. And on the bottom, I've got cos, uh, cos squared x. Okay, and I'm just going to write that as sine x over cos x cos x. I'll actually write that sine x times 1. Sine x over cos x, this portion here, is tan x. And 1 over cos x is sec x. And hence, uh, the derivative of sec x is sec x tan x, or tan x sec x, whichever way around you want to write it. And hence we've done uh, the first part. Okay, then it says to us, find the integral of tan x over the square root of 1 plus cos 2x. Okay, when I look at that, I immediately think to myself, the cos 2x, uh, a double angle formula is going on here. And you should have learned and you should know that cos of 2x is, for example, 2 cos squared x subtract 1. You should also know, by the way, which could have equally helped us here, that cos 2x is 1 minus 2 sine squared x. These must be learned. So I'm going to substitute this in instead of cos 2x. And I'm going to write, I'm going to call this my integral. So therefore, my integral is the integral of tan x divided by, well, the square root of 1 plus cos 2x. Well, 1 plus this, so 1 plus 2 cos squared x minus 1. And obviously that one and that one cancel, 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is the integral of tan x over the square root of 2 cos squared x, which I could clearly write as the integral of tan x over square root 2 and cos x, because the square root of cos squared is cos x. Then what I would do is take the root 2, 1 over root 2 out, so I would write that as 1 over root 2, the integral of tan x, and 1 over cos x is sec x. So this I could write that as sec x tan x. Now I can use part 1. I know that if I differentiate sec x, I get sec x tan x. So conversely, if I integrate sec x tan x, I should get sec x back. So the integral of this with respect to x, these should have all had respect to x. i have just minor oversight there. Uh, would be simply sec x. So the answer to this is 1 over root 2 sec x, and obviously when you do that, you get a constant of integration, which I'm going to call c. And hence, uh, we finished that 8 mark question, quite straightforward really, if you if you uh, kept your head and just did, uh, did the obvious. Um, I hope you found that useful in your revision for core 4, and in particular for your revision of the calculus of trigonometric functions. Thank you for listening and watching.